If you told me over a decade ago that Sonic the Hedgehog would not only have one, but two successful movies, I would have called you insane. However, I've seen both of them, and I'm still shocked at how good they are. Sega and Paramount have proven that video game franchises can be made into films and please the video game's fan base. That said, fans have many questions about what's in store for the third movie. What characters will show up in it? Will certain characters be returning? Unfortunately, since the second movie just came out, it could be a while until we get some answers. However, I have a few crazy predictions on what we could see in the next film. I'm Marco Strange. These are my top four predictions for the third Sonic movie. Before jumping into my list, I want to point out a few things. Unlike my previous list, none of these are ranked. Instead, these are just four predictions I have in no particular order. There may also be some spoilers for Sonic 2, so this is your spoiler warning. Also, these are just predictions of what I think we could see. I do not work for Sega or Paramount and don't have any inside information on the plans for the next movie. Last but not least, if you enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to see more videos like this in the future. With all that out of the way, let's jump into my first prediction. Point 1. Robotnik will not be the villain in the next movie. Jim Carrey has done a fantastic job as Robotnik in the movies. He's helped bring his own twist to one of gaming's most iconic villains and steals his show whenever he's on screen. However, his time as Robotnik might be over after casually announcing his retirement. In an interview with Access Hollywood, Carrey announced he was done with acting, saying he's, quote, fairly serious, unquote. Since then, many people have debated whether he was serious or joking since it was close to April Fool's Day. Either way, what would that mean for Robotnik in the movies? In my opinion, whether it's true or not, Sega slash Paramount would take advantage of this by not having Robotnik as the main villain in the next movie. Let me explain how they could, regardless of whether Carrey is serious or not. Let's start with if this is the truth. Carey has been acting for several decades and starred in many films such as Man on the Moon, The Truman Show, and Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, which happens to be my favorite movie of all time. After so many years, maybe he wants to call it a career since he's now 60 years old. Carey decided to retire could explain why Robotnik's fate is ambiguous at the end of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. At the end of the movie, it's assumed that Robotnik died after Sonic destroyed his robot. It leaves his fate up to question, which is a reasonable way to write his character off, or think about where they want to go next. However, there's still the question of what if Carrie is lying about this. Studios have lied to fans before about movies they were making. One of the most prominent examples in recent years was Avengers Infinity War, where the trailer showed all the Avengers together fighting side by side. If you saw Infinity War, you would know this scene didn't happen. So tricking the audience isn't something new. However, why would they do this? Again, at least Robotnik's fate ambiguous and would explain why we won't see him, at least for the majority of the next film. I have some thoughts about what Robotnik would be doing, but I'll come back to that later in this video. First, I want to discuss who I think will be the next villain, leading to my second prediction. Point 2. Chaos will be the main villain of Sonic 3. While Robotnik is the most famous villain in the Sonic series, he's not the only one. Sonic has had multiple villains to fight, some more dangerous than Robotnik. So why am I picking Chaos to be the next villain? Chaos made his debut in Sonic Adventure back in 1999. It was Sonic's first enemy not to be created by Robotnik and appeared after he shattered the Master Emerald. While the movies don't follow game lore, it could be a good setup for why Chaos is now a threat. After the Master Emerald was shattered during the fight with Robotnik in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, we saw that the Chaos Emeralds were inside it. Not only that, but the Chaos Emeralds disappeared after Sonic returned to normal. No one knows where the Emeralds went, but what if that leads to Chaos gaining power and becoming a threat? In Sonic Adventure, Chaos got its power from absorbing negative energy from Chaos Emeralds, meaning it's possible that Chaos would have come into contact with one or two before the start of Sonic 3 and gained some power already. They could also rework Chaos's backstory to not being related to the Master Emerald, but keep the part about absorbing Chaos Emeralds for power. My final thing about why I love to see Chaos as the next villain is a little selfish. I want to see how Chaos will look in movie form, and seeing perfect chaos attacking a city would be amazing. I dare anyone to say they're not interested in seeing how perfect chaos would look destroying a city like San Francisco in movie form. However, chaos isn't the only new thing I hope to see in Sonic 3. Point 3. Chaos Emeralds and New Characters Technically, you could say these are two separate points, but I'll explain why I put them together. Assuming chaos was the next villain, it would make sense that the chaos emeralds become a focal point in the next movie. After all, that's how Chaos gets more power, and how Sonic can access his super form. However, 
There are seven of them. The idea of Sonic trying to find all seven one by one would be unlikely for one movie. However, there's a way around this. Instead of having Sonic trying to find all of them by himself, they could bring in more characters that have one. It also serves as an excuse to have more characters show up at the same time, instead of just one or two new ones per movie. So which Sonic characters would show up in Sonic 3? I'll start with one of the more popular requests, Amy. Many fans have been asking for Amy to appear in the movies, some drawing what they think she would look like in the movie universe. Since Sonic CD, she's been part of the series, and I feel she deserves to be in the movie universe. Not to mention, I noticed a lot of fans over the last decade talking about why Amy is a great character and doesn't deserve the hate that she gets. I'll leave a link in the description for one of my favorite videos talking about her. I feel they could still have Amy be in love with Sonic and have it be why she shows up on Earth. I like the picture that Sonic met her when they were younger and she gave him the flower he was going to give the long claw. It could be a nice flashback to show how they met. It could provide us with a reason to see Amy's original design and her current design in movie form. She could also have a Chaos Emerald and say it gave her the power to find Sonic and come to Earth. Besides Amy, we'd probably see Cream as well. Cream is Amy's best friend and always playing with the Chow. It could also serve with Cream wanting to find Sonic since Chaos was a guardian for the Chow and wanting his help to stop Chaos. I'd also put Rouge as a maybe for showing up because I think she's more likely to show up in the Knuckles spinoff show first. After all, they're usually paired as rivals together and Knuckles could use one for a spinoff series. So with that out of the way, there is one name I left out, which you're probably wondering why I haven't mentioned yet. That's because he's part of my biggest and most controversial point on this list. What's that, you might ask? Point 4. Shadow will not be in most of Sonic 3. Okay, hear me out before you start asking why I would have such a dumb prediction in the comments. I know Shadow was teased in a post credit scene, and I'm dying to see him in a movie. All I'm saying is I don't see him being in most of the film, which could be great. Let me explain. In the post credit scene, it implied Shadow is still asleep in an unknown facility. In other words, it's not the same as Tails in the first movie, where he came through a portal and was trying to find Sonic. So it's unlikely Shadow would wake up on his own without help from someone. Shadow's situation led me to a couple of ideas for why he'd be released. If Robotnik were in the movies moving forward, he could have gone into hiding to find Shadow to get his revenge. Another idea is if Chaos is destroying a city and Sonic can't stop it, maybe he releases Shadow to pose as a good guy this changed his ways, which he's tried to do in the past, like in Sonic Colors. Either way, imagine if the first shot of Shadow we see is him showing up to help defeat Chaos while also keeping it a mystery if he's a friend to Sonic or not. That alone is enough reason to justify a fourth Sonic movie in the future, as it could focus on their rivalry before becoming allies. Just to clarify, I don't know if any of these things will happen. None of what I said may happen in Sonic 3, and that's the point of predicting what could happen. Regardless of whether I'm right or wrong, I'm excited about this next movie and can't wait to see where the series will go moving forward. Now, I turn the conversation to you. What are your predictions for the third Sonic movie? Do you think the third movie will be the last, or do you think we'll get more films in the future? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to see more content in the future. I'm Marco Strange. Stay safe. Stay strange.